All right, hey, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back. Oh, is that you're surprised to see me back at home? You thought I'd still be out sailing the seven seas trying to find an underwater monument. Yeah, I was doing that, and then I couldn't find one. Don't worry, we will. And then I was like, you know what's probably gonna happen anyway? We're gonna find one. And even if I have all the Nautilus shells, what's gonna happen is before I get a chance to mine out the Prismarine, I'm gonna get hit with mining fatigue. And I'm not even going to be able to get the prismarine I need in order to do the whole conduit thing. So that's going to be fun. Which means I'm still going to work towards the Nautilus shells. What I was hoping is that I would come back here and I just start working on villager things. And then a wandering trader would spawn. It didn't. It didn't happen. It's kind of sad. But I did work on villager things. Want to know what villager things I worked on? I traded with Hubert a lot. I have a lot of emeralds now. Not that I didn't before, but I have even more now, and I've decided I should carry them in the shulker box, along with books. I decided I should carry all the things that I might need at any point in the shulker box, which includes an anvil, lots of emeralds, because you could possibly need this many emeralds at once, books, uh, extra fireworks, so I went out, got some creepers, made some more fireworks, that should be good. We're carrying the Nautilus shells, Heart of the Seas, plural for some reason, uh, flint and steel, and some fences, because you never know when you have to add another villager pen. Let me just... Here, see, it's never bad to start off an episode with a couple more trades with Hubert. Couldn't hurt, right? Could always use some more emeralds. And then I'll show you what new villagers I've managed to get because, oh my god, I was spending literally over... Okay, you still haven't... Oh, didn't expect you. How's it going, bud? We'll just, uh, we'll just take care of you real quick. Wait, oh, multiple. I guess they must have spawned while I was just running over because they don't spawn while I'm down here I'm too far away for the spawner. I don't need your rotten flesh. Hey Hubert. Have you restocked? No, I was thinking I'd come over here and trade with you for extra emeralds. There you go That's what I'm talking about my boy. See, let's just do this I'll tell you though if I just sit down here and let him restock he does it a whole bunch Did you just restock again like almost every time he walks back over to the lectern? It's a restock. I can just trade and trade, and trade. Most of these emeralds, when I said I was just trading with Hubert extensively, this was like a day. So imagine if I had several of them. What a wild ride it would be. I haven't even done any leather with you in a little bit. I did some, actually, because I had some leather left over in the chest, but once that wore out, well, let's keep it going with Hubert. He just restocks like a madman. Well, anyway, I also have some new enchanted books. Ooh, you might have gotten a sneak peek. Let me go show you the villagers, though. Don't want to accidentally hit you, my boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, let me just uh, stick this on in here. There we go. And then I have the spare shulker box, which I feel like I'll use for, you know, when I go to the underwater monument and I just dig up a bunch of blocks. I'm like, I don't want to sort through these right now, so I'll just throw whatever I get in there. And that's what that's for. So pretty cool stuff. God, Hubert is amazing. One of a kind. Because I might have gotten another Hubert style Perpetual Emerald Villager and How to Minecraft, for example, series viewable over on the Captain Sparkles 2 channel and live at twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. But he has name tags for like 12 emeralds. He's not a Hubert. He's not. Hubert's one of a kind. Okay, so a few more villagers. We have got this boy doing 20 emerald impaling five trades. So here's the deal. All the new villagers that I got, which there are three. Where did I put them all? I don't even know. There should be there are three of them or something, right? I, know, I, I think there were. <laughs> I think there were three. I just don't know where the third one went um, because I got an efficiency five one, except I don't know, are you, you're power three. So I was looking for power five. That was my initial quest. And then it took me like half an hour of just trying. Okay, fortunately there were a couple spare villagers here and then a baby happened and so we were okay. But it took me at least half an hour to find, this is the first power thing I got and it's terrible. It's power three for 40 emeralds, but I was like, you know, I don't even care. I've worked at this for so long, I'm just gonna, I, I can't be bothered to keep at it, so it's just a terrible trade. But we also have an efficiency five boy somewhere. I think he's downstairs, though. I'm just forgetting, Did, is it you? Was it you? No, you're infinity. Yeah, this is why I got all these name tags. I got all these name tags for, is it you? Is you, yes, 51 emeralds for efficiency five. Which, see, this was the first villager I tried, and I was trying to get power. Then he brings up the efficiency five trade, 51 emeralds. I'm like, ah, I do need efficiency five on both my ax and my shovel, which I, they feel incomplete without efficiency five. So I guess I can do that. But 
Then I lock it in. I do the one trade because we've had in the past, I've been burned before where I don't lock the trade in. Then I come back and somehow he's doing something else. And I'm like, well, lost out on that one. So I do this. And then later on, as we're cycling through, we get a 30 Emerald Efficiency 5 trade. And I'm like, I'm not going to have two Efficiency 5 villagers now. I'll just whatever, dude. I want power. Anyway, we need to get one more Efficiency 5 book. Um, actually, we need to get a book for that, don't we? So one more Efficiency 5. And then what we also need to do is we need to trade for another Power 3 because I need to make the Power 4 book and then combine the Power 4 book with my Power 4 bow just to use all of my levels of experience. Thank you. appreciate you. And I am going to need more emeralds for this because this is such a bad deal. It's such a bad... It's going to cost me like 80 emeralds just to get power 4. Whereas if I could have gotten a power 5, it probably could have been as low as 20-something if it were a good deal. But like I said, can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. And you know what? I have such a surplus of emeralds anyway that maybe one day I will do what the subreddit said I should do, which is make the full stack emerald beacon base. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so we got two Vision C5s. We got our Impaling, which I'm just going to store in the chest because obviously we can't put it to use. And we got our two Power 3s here. So all in all, we're, we're pretty sorted. And then I've been thinking, do I want to apply Fire Aspect to my sword? But also what I want to do is I want to make a good Fishing Rod because while we're not getting any of the Wandering Traders spawning, I guess our only real shot at getting Nautilus shells is to get up to like a Luck of the Sea 3. <laughs> so many Iron Golems, why? Oh my god, guys, it's crazy. I will be super, super stacked if a raid ever happens again, though. I'll say that much. So you can, like, bring some of these over. Um, mending Fishing Rod. Not that Mending, I need to do that, really. But um, Luck of the Sea 2, I guess, just in case. Again, um, I suppose I could have combined the shovel with that. If I wanted to just get efficiency that way, that's also possible. Whatever, it's probably cheaper to just do a book. And now I'm going to make one more new fishing rod. And then what we're going to do with that is we're going to do a better level 30 enchant. I really hope so. Really, really, really hope that's the case because otherwise I'm going to be very, very disappointed. And um, then we can we have all these extras that I can just combine in enchantment tables, things like that. We have mending and breaking. Look at this. I think we'll be able to get a full maxed out um fishing rod here and then i've got spare books as well if i want to do that stuff so lots of things to do i think i'm just gonna put fire aspect on my sword i'm just gonna do it the only other thing it's missing is sweeping edge i don't think i want to apply that to my main sword though um but also if i ever do it no i never need to do a butcher it's just i'm never gonna need to do a butcher even if i have all this spare meat which i could trade with a butcher ultimately hubert is a better source of emeralds anyway so do i care no not really just gonna apply fire aspect to my sword and then I need to do another sword at some point that's going to have smites for the wither. And then I need to do another sword at some point that's sharpness five, sweeping edge for an enderman farm, which I am going to make an enderman farm at some point. Okay, whew. so we'll do the enchants first, right? And then after I get below level 30 or as close as possible from doing stuff, then please do some lure three, unbreaking three, which, okay, lure three, unbreaking three, I combine you with... I combine these two together, then I get luck of the C3, then I apply that, and then I apply mending, and we're all good. Let's see if the books give me anything good when I just throw the books in. Uh, unbreaking three. We have an unbreaking three villagers, so don't really care about that. Um, power one. I guess I, I need all the levels I can get at the end build, and it's not hard for me to get levels with, you know, all the villager trading. Villager trading is so good. It's such a good way to get levels. Anyway, so our first goal, priority is, is fishing rod. So luck of the C2. Kind of that. That's tw 20. 12. God, that's really freaking expensive, dude. And then we want to, I guess we're going to combine you and you, which is going to be Lord of the Sea. Lord of the Free oh, God, I forgot. I didn't mean to do that. Well, there goes all my levels. I meant to, I meant to switch the fishing rods around and see if it was going to be any cheaper. It might have been cheaper. Well, we got the good fishing rod at least. What is this now? Oh, seven. Heh. <laughs> sure. Why not just use all my levels? It's, you know, no point in doing the whole bow thing. Right? We're just going to max out fishing rod. There we go. All the other stuff can wait until uh, more levels come. God, I'm so dumb. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. A few more trades with Hubert. I'll tell you, we'll be, we'll be just fine and dandy. Look at these trident enchantments over there. Fire aspect, you go back there. Efficiencies will apply you later. So much for everything. Mm-hmm. 
let's go fishing now that we've really overspent our levels on this. It, it's gonna be fun. Who wouldn't want to go on a fishing trip? We'll get in the George GT, we'll go out on the high seas, it'll be amazing. You love fish, I mean, I'll tell you, viewership on Twitch, concurrent views, have gone up when I've been fishing before. And it seems to be a trend, so you can't fault it. Oh, another thing I did is, because of all the levels, I just got my elytra back up to full. I was a little worried. You know, you can never be a little too careful with your elytra and stuff like that. So, um, yep, here we go. Let's, I mean, we'll just go out into the ocean over here. We kind of know the, the direction it's at. Look at those peonies. I bet, if, I bet if I break them, they'll give me um, wool that I can then use in order to get treasure chests. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, it's fishing time. Let's put, I, I've invested so many levels in this. You're going to watch me fish and you're going to like it. Okay, you're going to like it. Yeah, 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 whatever. I can do an AFK fishing machine. But in the end, it still takes the same amount of time for the fish to show up. It's just I'm holding right click down or having something else hold right click down. And even then, sometimes it doesn't work. Shaders seem to make your fishing line disappear, but you can still see the particles. What did I get? What did I get? A rock hod. Exactly what I wanted. We could be here a while, but we're going to be here a while, and you're going to... That's two rock hods in a row. Wow. You know, I I had never met some... Really? Three in a row? Really? This, this is what I get with my maxed out fishing rod? This is what I get? Unbelievable. I had never actually known anyone that was super into fishing prior to, like, someone I know who works at Twitch. Super into it. Um, but more recently... And it, oh, four rock, what, what, what is actually happening right now? I mean, if we were in an actual fishing competition, I guess you want to catch fish and not shells, but not here, dude, not here. All right, we got more coming in. <sighs> Why? Why is this happening? I've fished seven things so far and they, it's nothing but fish. Is this, is this a problem of my location? Do I need to find a better location in this ocean? I can't deal with this right now. If I wanted fish, I would go punch fish. You see all those fish there that I can punch? I'd go do that if I wanted fish. Give me books. Give me armor. Give me shells. This is terrible. I feel like just going and trading with Hubert and getting experience and then enchanting my others. Yeah, I am over it. Please, I need a wandering trader. Save me from my misery. What is hap- This is the worst thing. Are you kidding me? This is all I have to show for my- fishing time oh my god this is the worst this is the worst turnout that's ever taken place in history <gasps> okay I'm just gonna fly straight to hubert just flying straight to him but not smashing my face into the door hubert make me feel better i've come to you for comfort no <gasps> what get the fork out of here what happened <gasps> oh did a torch get broken oh my god are we okay? Are we okay? We're okay. More torches. More torches. Redundancies. Redundancies. Redundancies and more redundancies. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so glad I came here, but thankfully it wasn't a villain. I guess if it was a zombie, we'd have been able to heal you, but still, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that that took place. Hey, man, let me trade with you to make up for it. There we go. We're, we're all feeling better. Uh, I could use some more levels as well. Everything is good. Everything's great. Let's just toss these off. We don't don't need that bow. Definitely don't need that bow. All right, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're get we're getting levels. This is basically what you're doing. It's just you just get some more books, and then you just keep trading the books, and then every now and again you do another bookshelf trade, and then you just like boom, and then get those levels, level ten. Maybe I can even add a tray. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're all good there. Perhaps I can add a little bit of another enchantment to my... Look, you see, he restocks so fast. You were such a bro. You, you see, fishing is terrible. But Hubert, Hubert's a bro. And do you know what, Hubert? I bet you have the willpower to even, like, summon a wandering trader if you really wanted to do so. Like, I'm, I bet Hubert... Just gonna spawn one up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back up here, and there's just gonna be a wandering trader, ready to go, selling some nautilus shells. And I'm gonna have them in my shelter box and be ready to go because I'm always ready now, always prepared, always ready to go. Let's let's just let's see. Is it gonna cost? 
Anything more to apply the uh, enchantment efficiency five? Which one do I want to apply? Let me combine the books. Actually, it's probably going to be pretty expensive to bring my bow up. But, okay, there. It's freaking four levels. And then how much are you going to cost? Ah, 13 is actually not that bad. Okay, better than I thought. We can get to 13 and uh, not too distant to the time, I think. Oh, my God. I can't believe that this has happened. This fishing rod. I should rename it Disappointment. Would that cost me much money to rename you? Would it? Would it? It cost me eight levels. It's not even. It's not even worth my time there. It's not even worth. I'm not. I'm disappointed that you're going to cost me so many levels just to call you disappointment. This is absurd. You know what else I need though? Like it's not even optional if I'm not going to have the conduit. I need potions of water breathing, which means I still need to fish and get puffer fish. I have to go fish. I actually have to still go fishing, and it's so upsetting. Because I'm never gonna get it, am I? And that's just, that's just a fish. I just I just need a fish. All right, that's all I need. Just a fish. Unless I guess I get a fisherman villager and level it way up or something like that. But do I really do I really want to do that? Or I could just scrap the whole underwater monument thing for the time being and go try to create a, a I don't know a cartographer village or trade up for a map and go find a woodland mansion and do something like that. I don't know, but. I don't really want to do that. I really want to stick to my underwater monument thing because I'm stubborn. So, I'm just going to go fish for a while. And I, I'll tell you what, I, I will compromise. I won't take you along this time, but I'm also just going to do it here in the in the river right here. Maybe the river will be a better place. Uh, okay. Hey, second thing I caught was a puffer fish. <laughs> I kid you not. I got a rock cod, of course, first thing. Puffer fish, second. Okay, you know what? Maybe the river... Maybe, maybe the ocean was a disappointment. It wasn't the fishing rod. It was that the, the, it's the, no. No, we're just getting all, uh, a whole wide variety of fish. Give me another puffer fish, though, because if I have two eight-minute potions of water breathing, we'll probably be good once we find the underwater monument. We'll probably be good. We won't have to worry about the conduit, do any of that. We'll do that later. And if I had the conduit, I could, I could do the whole thing where you turn it into a grinder, which is probably a little bit too time-consuming. I just... I don't know why anyone does anything other than an Enderman Grinder. The Enderman Grinder just is the superior being. Yeah, people are going to be like, well, no, Pigman Grinder, you can get tons and tons of XP, but mm, I don't know. I'm torn. You see those freaking spawn rates for Enderman with an Enderman Grinder? I don't know. I just feel like the Enderman Grinder is more spectacular, maybe, just because all of them are spawning on that tiny little platform that you make out there, and then they just sprint towards that Endermite in the minecart. I just have a thing for Enderman Grinders even though I've never built one in a survival world myself. So maybe I'm going to end up disappointing myself, but we'll see. Okay, the fish are camera shy. It's, it's, of course, as soon as I turn it back on, all I'm getting is useless stuff. I'm going to turn it off, okay, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, now you guys are like, he's just giving himself puffer fish. I swear to God I'm not. It happens as soon as I, I got like two other useless things. And then it gives me another puffer fish. It only works when the camera's not rolling. I swear to God, they're camera shy. Please, please prove to the people that this is actually happening. I'm not giving myself puffer fish. I'm actually fishing. All right. If I was going to give myself stuff, I'd give myself a Nautilus shell. <laughs> please. You... Why? <laughs> Why is the world out to get me? And it's just, it's just going to give me rock cod and salmon when, I, when I'm rolling. Oh my god. I mean, you do have to like the speed of lure, but still... I'm dying. Fishing is the absolute worst. Luck has, has never existed. Luck. You're supposed to have luck of the sea. That is part of the enchantment name, and I have the third level of it. It's max, and it's absolute trash. These oceans are too clean. That's the problem. They're pure, alright? I keep my Minecraft ecosystem very nice and unpolluted, so we don't actually catch trash. We just catch fish, which is probably better than catching random boots that are thrown into the water and stuff. You'd be disappointed with that in real life, but here, it's all I want. Just throw me some boot. There it is! You've seen it with your own eyes! I got something other than a cod or a salmon. <sighs> now I continue, ladies and gentlemen. I have officially gotten my first thing other than a fish. And it's a name tag, which I can get for one emerald from Hubert. So, would be exciting. 
if it weren't for that case, and it was earlier in the game. But I got something other than fish! And I also have a lot more puffer fish, though, so I'm at five now, so we got pr plenty of underwater breathing, which is great, but uh, otherwise, um, yep, still a lot of fish happening. Hey! And I got a saddle! My, my second junk thing! Yeah, okay, it's been a whole day fishing, and um, that's what I have to show for it, so... Not a single Nautilus shell. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised about that, but also no wandering traders have spawned. That's honestly more so what I was hoping for, is that I would just be sitting there for the day fishing, and then all of a sudden a wandering trader would appear and be like, hey, have some Nautilus shells. I'd love to trade with you. And it has not happened. It'll only happen when I don't care about it anymore. That's, that's the only time it's going to take place. So I think I'm officially scrapping my plans of having a conduit before... <laughs> I go and raid the underwater monument. I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way with underwater breathing. So let's make some potions and then I actually will go find an underwater monument and we will stomp the absolute everything out of it. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. All right, so the million dollar question is, can I remember how to make a potion of water breathing from memory? We're gonna try it. I swear I haven't gone and looked it up, okay? I believe it's nether wart. Then you put a puffer fish in there, and then you extend it with redstone. I know the redstone extending, and I know that you use the awkward potion, but I don't know if there's an extra step in there somewhere. And uh, we're gonna find out. You know what? You know what's nice, though? That I put the whole brewing stand set up in here so that I can trade with Hubert while I'm just, like, doing other stuff. So that's exciting. See, while I'm waiting for potions to go, I can just keep trading with Hubert, and that is exactly what we need other than the fact that I... Also, definitely, um, don't have any blaze rods. Do I really not have any blaze rods? That's good. That's great. Thanks, Hubert. I appreciate your restock. You're so kind. Making me feel just a little bit better about the fact that I've missed out on something quite critical. I think I had it in there before, but then I moved it, and then it doesn't have any of the... Just deletes the block, so that's great. Hey, dude, your restocks are on another level. Thanks so much, dude. Well, um... Guess we're gonna go get a blaze rod or two, because I don't have any in my chests over at home. I was looking for it, and I was like, it must be over here. Yep, um, that's, nope, nope, it's not. Nope, it's not. But we can also get more glass in case we want to do more pufferfish and things like that. So, all right, I'll, I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. Hey, but on the plus side, though, before I go, I can do this. Yeah gonna be great there we go power five i mean you know just in case we need to defend ourselves against any long-range blazes we're good okay that's, that's a consolation prize how much is it gonna cost to apply my efficiency five to you okay that's actually pretty good pretty cheap and then how about to you only six okay so we only need 12 more levels actually not bad actually a deal i can live with that um Oh, power five bow. Thank you. Finally maxed out. Took long enough, didn't it? Okay, back into the nether we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember how I got to the freaking blaze spawner. That was a maze. Okay, from memory, again, let's see how good my navigational skills are. Because it's in the it's in the opposite direction. I think it's that way? Well, let's, let's see if I can remember this. Yeah, here we go. Like, back over here. Yep, okay. Good. And then I think I just, like, follow the torches down this this way. I lit up the whole path down to where the blazes were, right? Something like that. It was... Oh, my goodness. My memory is impeccable. You saw that live. You saw that live, dude. Okay, there we go. And we got five... Dude, now that I'm into this next time being in here, not even a problem. I mean, it hurts a little bit. But we do have fire prot on which? Which do we have fire prot on? None of them. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> don't have any fire protection. Never mind. I was feeling really confident, and then I <laughs> don't have fire protection on literally anything. Wow. Yeah, that would actually suck if I fell into lava. I had a I, I had a good good choice not going and trying to mine that glowstone. Anyway, okay, we just got eight blaze rods, so we're fine. God, that's fast. And then back up over here. Let's put down a torch. There we go. And then just, just to outline it a little bit better. That was still pretty, pretty good and straightforward pathing on my part. Sorry, I don't need. I don't mean to be too complimentary, but I hadn't been there in a while, and I have a tendency to forget things. 
when I haven't been to them in quite some time. The only thing now is I'm going to like forget which side. I think I came from over there, right? Right? You know what's going to be... <laughs> no, I was going to jump off and elytra down and then and then shoot back up. And then I was like, you know what I'm probably going to end up doing? Is smacking into the side of the cliff and demonetizing myself or falling into lava and then and then burning. But I kind of want to do... I, I don't want to try it, actually. <laughs> Am I an idiot? Probably. But I'm going to jump off the other way and then I'm going to do some acrobatics. Loop back around. And we're going to get to the portal with a single firework. There's no way that this could go wrong. There's no way at all. I'm still wearing my elytra. I'm like, just checking. Um, oh, wait. I have fire prod on my... No, I don't. I don't I don't have fire prod anywhere. Okay, I'm going to smack into the side of a cliff here. I'm totally going to do that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Whoo! There we go, boys. There we go. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, come on. Come on. You can make this work. You almost made it work. Eh, that's pretty decent. Pretty good trajectory. <laughs> I was actually worried that, that was going to go pretty poorly, but you know what? You got to live life on the edge, right? You can't shy away. You can't back down. And then... Okay, that was good. I was going to I was gonna fly on over to Hubert real quick. I was going to just be like, whoo! Why won't that work? Okay, now I'm just annoyed and <laughs> trying to figure out why, why won't my Elytra go. Hey, there we go. That's more like it. I mean, a bit of a waste. I think in the end, though, I got there faster. So, not a waste. That's what I'm talking about. Do this what I'm talking about. And now I bet you have restocked. You have, which is great news. Just add to our emerald pile. I mean, we, we do have to make the beacon base out of emerald blocks at some point. Do we not? All right, bud. Hubert, I know you're stoked. We're doing some of this in here. It's pretty good times. Now we grab the uh, nether warts. Should I make, I might want to actually like make more mm, glass. I might actually have glass back at home. Do I have glass back home? I think I might. I think I might. Oh, well, whatever. It's like, do I need more than three? Potentially. Potentially I do. Yeah, should I sleep? I'll sleep with you guys like in just a minute. That sounded weird. I didn't mean to make it weird. Sorry about that. Anyway, we do that. And now, do I remember from memory? I think I do. I think I do. All right, sleep. Nope, no sleep, no sleep. Why do you guys get to go to bed before I do? See, that's what's not fair at all. It's not fair. What if I want to sleep, all right? I want to get those extra few minutes, the extra Zs. I could feel, you know, a lot more rested. Yeah, I'm just going to do one more, one more set, and it'll be fine because by the time I get back here anyway, I think Hubert will have restocked so I can get more emeralds, and, um, you know, you can never have too many of those. <laughs> There we go. And see, now that's done. And then we add the next step. And then we just keep on getting books, keep on trading. It's like, if you're going to do a task, you might as well make it a multitask. And now you got more at the ready. And now I'll even do one, one, two, three, four, five. Get ready to go there. You're probably just about, nope, not ready quite yet. So you want to time everything perfectly. And now you're good, and see, then we add the next one in. By the time we're done here, we've broken more books, we've added more to the arsenal, and then we can do another trade with Hubert. And see, if you're looking to maximize your efficiency, that's what you do. That's what you do right there. And then see, that's not quite ready yet, so we can just trade two, three, just a few, just a couple extra more. And by a couple, I mean nine. And then that's ready. I haven't quite maximized my time here, which is unfortunate, but now we do have all the potions of water breathing we could ever need. Hubert hasn't restocked yet, so it's okay. And everything looks great. We've added another stack. We started another stack. Whew. Wild. Oh, and shouldn't have put those away. There we go. Thank you, sir. And now I actually have enough levels to be able to apply the efficiency 5 to both the books, or the uh, to both my tools here. So we're going to have maxed out tools. And... Um, I'd say everything's looking great. Oh, there we go. There we go. And have you restocked? No, you haven't. So that means it's the perfect time to walk away before you tempt me even further once you've restocked again. So I'm leaving now. Whew. That's how you multitask. That's how you multitask, boys. That's how you do it. All right. And now, let's add that efficiency five. And then we're going to go actually finally find the underwater monument. And I guess just do it the old-fashioned way. But eventually, I will make a conduit. Although I don't know for what purpose at that point. Point, just because we will have already done the underwater monument. I wanted to do it a new way, but stupid wandering traders just don't want to exist. 
There we go. All right. Let's find. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just skip to having found an underwater monument. It's got to be one somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. I know I said that we would next meet when I found an underwater monument, but I found an iceberg biome, which is cool because I can get blue ice at some point, which I can use to make my trip to get to the end portal just extremely quick. But also, how did this ship get here? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Uh, is this thing going to have any... Oh, it, it does have a chest. Buried treasure map. Um, I don't really care that much about it, but sure, I guess I'll take it. And I can take the books, and I can take the paper, because why not? But dude, when I get Silk Touch, which I'll tell you, I have had villagers present me with Silk Touch like 20 times that I've turned down because I was looking for something else. So Silk Touch shouldn't be that hard until I say that I want it, and then it's never going to show up. But how did that book get there? I think we found the remnants of the Titanic. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyway, I just I wanted to point that out. And now... Now we're gonna find an underwater monument, I swear! Oh boy. I know I said that we'd meet again when I'd found an underwater monument, but this is absolute insanity. My Unbreaking 3 Elytra is almost at half durability, and I've used up an entire stack of fireworks. It- what? What is happening? I'm not gonna have enough fireworks to get back home after this. I have scoured oceans! I've never had this much difficulty finding an underwater monument before this has never happened. This is insane. What is going on? I th these are big oceans too that I'm I'm going around. Like this new one here, I I finally stumbled across a massive one, thinking this is gonna be the first time. Finally, finally, this is the one. Nope, it's not the one. But maybe, maybe once I start complaining about it, that's why I started the recording and started ranting. I feel like that's when maybe it'll show up. But honestly, they're not supposed to be that rare. Like. They're kind of everywhere, as you will see in the finale of the Hardcore Minecraft But Every Drop is Random series. Spoiler alert, underwater monuments aren't generally that difficult to stumble across, but I guess only when you're not looking for one. I see all these underwater ruins, but no underwater monuments anywhere. <gasps> Wait, is that it? Is that it? That's it! God, thank you! It's it! Oh, it only happens once you start complaining. It's either when you're not looking for it or when you're complaining. That's it. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you guys. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if I had the Nautilus shells on me and I wanted to make the beacon, or sorry, the conduit, I'm gonna see if I would have been able to. Alright, we're gonna boat over there and I'm gonna see how quickly I can mine any prismarine and see if I actually would have been able to uh, get the thing made or if I would have gotten hit with mining fatigue instantaneously. Let's put that there just in case. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And mine it, mine it, mine it, mine it, mine it. Here we go. <laughs> nope. So I'll tell you, if I had invested all that time in trying to uh, get all the uh, the Nautilus shells, yep, the mining fatigue instantly. So you know what? At the end of the day, I can't be mad about the, uh, the Nautilus shells. All right, well... I guess it's time, dude. We've waited long enough. We've waited long enough. Let's put on our chest plate. And uh, let's let's get this. Let's get this. Not that there's anything really other than lots of gold and sponges to be got, but oh dude, it would be great if there were some dolphins around here. Alright, water breathing potion. And we out here. Let's let's hit this up. Oh wait, that's underneath it. It's got some nice support columns there. All right, where are we going to enter is the question. I guess kind of at the uh, mains. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of particle beams on me. Chill, bros. Chill. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to be nice to you guys and not hit you too much, but you're making that difficult. Oh, hey, dude. So good to uh, see ya. Just take you down real quick if you don't mind. Man, you're taking a lot of damage. Okay. One down. How many are there usually? There's two or three. I can never... Yeah, I can never remember until I just keep getting hit by mining fatigue. <laughs> it's like the only way to know for sure. But, okay. Hey, buds. Hey, how you doing? I know. It doesn't really matter if I hit you guys, because you're just gonna... Actually, I should get gapples out, shouldn't I? I should get some gapples in my hotbar, just in case bad things do happen. We want to be ready. Torches aren't going to do much. This is... Is this the first time I've- No, I've, I've hit this up since uh, we need water breathing potions before, I think. But hold up. Let me just uh, snag myself my water breathing potions real quick. 
Oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> Hold on, can I get this? Will this work eventually? I could really use this. I can't remember. I do have efficiency five. Am I combating the mining fatigue? I dropped the wrong chest. I want my water breathing potions. I forgot though that, that I'm gonna have mining fatigue and not be able to retrieve my shulker box. Right, I don't wanna have to find this again later on. I'd rather not. So here, here we go, here we go. Come on. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's uh, eh. You know, I'm gonna have to come back here later on anyway because I think I'm gonna mine into this and get the gold. Actually, this isn't a gold deposit. Let me find the exit again because I know that'll be easy to get to if I can find it and then I'll put this down again. I just prefer to do it in a spot that's gonna be easy to uh, get back to if I can even find, I'm probably not gonna be able to find it, am I? Is it here? Oh, this is a gold deposit. Okay, so we'll just put the shulker box here anyway because I'm such an idiot. I'm such a massive idiot! Why have I done this? Oh my god, now there's everybody trying to shoot at me. I can't even open up the shulker box! Well, this is great. Good thing I have aqua affinity. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is a problem. This is a pro I can't believe I did this. I thought there was more. I thought there was more on top of that. Okay, you guys suck! I hate you so much! I just need to get my water breathing potion. God dang it. Why have I done this to myself? Fork off! You just will not take the- All you guys are the worst! Oh my god, I can't believe this. Help. Help. This is terrible. I have five minutes left of water breathing and I can't get my other water breathing potions! Why? Get away from me! I hate you all! There are so many. There are so many. I have- I don't even have- I have blocks that I can build around myself, I guess, if I need to do that, but... You know what? Screw all of you. I'm gonna box my- I'm- I'm gambling this one out, dude. I'm gambling this, because I might actually trap myself in here. And that would be real embarrassing, wouldn't it? That would be real, real embarrassing if I did that. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're gonna do that. Wait, 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 wait. I can't... I might have done myself bad. Hold on. Wait, oh, I can- I can control swim into here. There we go. I can control swim, so we're good there. Okay, now we, uh, mine this. Before our time runs out. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Oh, wow. That's a good thing I have the golden apples. Yeah, yeah. Keep hitting with my, me with mining fatigue, you dick. Oh, why am I so dumb? Am I so, at least I can break shulker boxes. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. Oh, man. Oh, so stupid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You're almost there. You're almost better again. All right, everything's fine. Hey, you know what? Next time, let's go ahead and um, put this down in a place where I can actually access it. You know, like, I don't know, right? Right here. Okay, get away. Get away. God, there's so many of them, though. And they just don't take damage, even with freaking sharpness five swords. Like, what are you doing? No. All right, and I'll just put it there. Okay, we're just gonna bring all this into our inventory and throw some of the other stuff into here to clear things out a bit, all right? Clear our head. Everything is fine. Now we have five potions of water breathing and we'll come back and retrieve this at a later date. I'll even mark this spot with some cobblestone. Okay, let's go find ourselves some more Guardians, huh? How about it? How about it? Where could you guys be located, hmm? There we go. We got another one. I think you're right at the- yeah, this is right at the top of the place. Uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks for continuing to mining fatigue me. I'm pretty sure there is another somewhere, but we're not gonna know for another four minutes. I guess I'll just keep searching around and kind of see what we find and, um, well, I'll figure out if I get mining fatigue reapplied to me. Fingers crossed I don't, but I'm not feeling super- Oh, 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 there we go! There was another! There's always another. There's always a third. I knew it. Gotta go with your first instinct, dude. And get absolutely wrecked. Nope. Wrecked. There we go. Much better. There we go. All right. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, humming sharks, you know, they drop for sure. 
Well, now I guess all we have to do is uh, wait a few seconds until I get... You guys are so frustrating. Cease and desist at once. Okay, so yeah, that's three minutes. Not a big deal. Then we'll be able to fetch our shulker box, fetch the gold, and be good to go for limitless golden apples. Gonna be great. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, guys, uh, if you don't mind, just please let me mine this golden piece. Thank you so much. Woo, that aqua affinity plus efficiency five. Good times all around. Good times all around. Uh, I don't think we've got another section like this. I'm pretty sure this was the only gold thing, but just in case I'll mine through the wall. I think this will lead me to... Will this lead me to back outside? Or do we actually have another one? That's the edge. Uh, I, just, I mean, obviously I don't want to pass up the gold. I don't have to, but I can never actually remember if there's one or two of those per underwater monument. Oh! Hey, sponge room. How are you doing? I'll take you. Sure. Hey, just wanna just wanna know if there's any more gold laying around. Don't mind if I come in here and, and take it from you, right? I mean, that'd be totally chill. I wouldn't see any issues with that, you know? None, none whatsoever. Okay, it's not really looking good for that, though. But I'll just look around a little bit more to double check, and uh, yeah, then we'll call it. Yeah, as far as I can tell, that does seem to be the only place where there was any gold, but that's still fine. Eight blocks, I'll take it. But there was, somehow, I didn't notice the sponge room that was literally right above the entrance to the place. Not that I need this many sponges or that I'll ever put them to use. But, hey, you know what? In Minecraft 1.15, we could just take these into the nether and dry them out there. Or in Minecraft Bedrock. Yeah, whatever. You guys get to sleep during the day as well. I know. I know. You have cool features. But fi it's fine. We're getting them in 1.15. I don't need that many sponges. 42 sponges is plenty, I think. All right. That is a job well done, I like to think. Now, to retrieve the Georgie T-boat, and somehow I have to find my way home. But that's fine. I have the coordinates. Just, you know what? Our Elytra is over halfway durable, so we'll be fine. Nothing could ever go wrong. I think we'll be good. But you know what? I think we'll call this episode there for now. Thanks for so much for watching. Um, next time we'll we'll be back home. I don't think you care to see the the journey all the way back because just gonna be flying and uh, that's about it. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like if you liked. I can't believe we finally found an underwater monument. It was a lot of searching, dude. A full stack of fireworks is. It's a lot of flying if you've ever done the Elytra firework thing. Um, so there's also a playlist in the description if you've missed any episodes and you want to catch up on them and, uh, you know, know how we got to this point. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Stay tuned for more stuff in the future. And that's where we'll leave it for the day. Cal, how you doing? Job well done. Got a lot of gold here. It's pretty cool. Nice and, nice and blingy. So, okay. Oh, and also represent.com slash store. Slash Captain Sparkles if you want to grab some of that merch. I'll see you next time.